let's check in with meteorologist Mary Yoon for a look at your next forecast. Mary, do you get pestered by robocalls? Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, when I see, like, in the area code, like a 310 area code, yeah. I always think, especially during school hours, I think, oh, maybe somebody's calling me yeah. for my kids. Or, mm -hmm. So then, I, of course, I pick up, and then it's so annoying. Yep. It's, yeah. All right. Well, what's not annoying is our weather, at least today. Uh, we are looking at some nice weather. Uh, temperatures a little cooler, especially compared to yesterday, especially inland. Uh, current conditions outside right now. We are waking up to temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Now, with the cloud deck right now, it's not feeling as cold as previous mornings, but the stratus deck, we're starting to see some fog developing, unfortunately, and that is creating some visibility issues out there from Burbank back in towards Ontario and even towards Los Angeles International Airport. So if you're headed to the airport, definitely uh, check your carrier. Uh, right now, to so take a live look over Santa Monica, you can see just the cloud deck, but in our next weather hour by hour forecast, temperatures are forecast to rise to the mid 60s along the coastline, 70s inland. You can see right now just the clouds streaming in from the south to the northeast. And this is going to be the story for us even as we head into this week due to the strengthening onshore flow. So our weather story looks something like this. Uh, we are heading into a cooling trend. Trend. Yesterday we topped out at 74, so a degree warmer than average. Today I think we'll fall below that. Uh, looking at also some scattered shower chances Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for much of the LA, uh, LA County area. And then uh, as we head towards the end of the week, temperatures will remain below average. So this is how it plays out. We have an area of low pressure that is starting to make its way towards Northern California. A uh, piece of it starts to break off, so it's really just kind of get a little more scattered in nature in terms of the rainfall amounts. Then we'll start to see more of that enhancement as we head towards Tuesday afternoon. We get a brief break on Wednesday and then you'll start to see more widespread rain uh, by the time we head towards Thursday. There is some indication that there is some colder air. So when you see indications of pink, we could see some winter precipitation, snow levels lowering to right around 6,000 feet. By Thursday, still could see some showers right along the foothills and the mountains and that's going to be through Thursday and then we should start to see some drier conditions as we head towards the weekend. But you know, for May, as we we look beyond, it does look like we're going to kind of stay in this kind of cool, showery pattern as we uh, head into the end of the spring season. For the Inland Empire forecast, another warm day, but again, an improvement compared to yesterday. 70s today for the LAOC metro area, much cooler tomorrow. Be on the lookout for some morning drizzle as well. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, could be seeing a chance for those showers, but looks like Thursday is going to be the better chance right now. For the Valley, 70s today, 60s tomorrow. We'll keep those 60s right to Tuesday as well. And we'll notice that cool down from the Inland Empire. We're going from the 80s to the 60s. So that is definitely going to be fairly noticeable. 60s for the beaches with some drizzle tomorrow morning. Back to you.